Hello. So, it is the 21st of November and my granny and I are starting Unlocked. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Maddie and I read books. And basically in April, my granny and I started reading, buddy reading actually, Keeper of the Lost Cities. And November 17th, this book came out, but we're just now getting to it today. And um, I did an unboxing on this book with my first reactions, because it's an absolutely stunning book. So if you're curious to see that, I'll leave a link down below um, at the, and on the end screen. But today, I'm starting this book. And I found out something that has made me less excited. The actual novella doesn't start until page 505. So, I have 504 pages of information to comb through before I get to the part I'm most excited about. So, that already has lowered my excitement for this book, but we're still going to read it and hopefully have a good time. Um, I'll probably only be rating this book based on the novella. So if the novella is really good, then I'll give it a high rating, even if I don't enjoy the 500 pages of information. But if I don't really like the novella, then I'll add the information onto it. But I will talk about how I rate the book once I finish it, because I haven't actually finished it yet. Famous last words anyone ever said. Spoiler alert, I gave this book one star. So, yeah. Wow. Was that boring? So, I have officially hit the 50 page mark. I am now at page 58. And we're finally at Fitzsurry Avery Vacker's registry file. And that was so boring. I have a feeling that this entire book is going to be a drag. And then you're going to get to the good part and it's gonna be over like that so I don't know but I'm really bored and yeah so I probably won't pick up until I get through the things I really I'm excited to read Keefe's um file but that's like we literally live in Sophie's mind this entire series. So I don't want to have to read her registry file because it's literally the definition of telling and not showing. Because it's just recapping the entire books. And if maybe I hadn't, maybe if I hadn't read Legacy since it came out last year, this would have been helpful. But I read all the books this year. So so, uh, like I said, I'm very bored, and that's, that's literally the most, I'm so bored, I'm so bored. <laughs> Alright, update on Unlocked, I'm now on page 602, uh, I know, big jump, but that's because my granny and I decided to skip all of the information and read the novella first, and then we will go back and read the information. Hear me out. I don't want to stop. I could fin I could read this entire novella today, but I don't want to do that because uh, I that 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 would make me a horrible person. So there's that. Um, but yeah, the novella I'm enjoying it a lot. I like reading from Kiwi's point of view. I've already uh, on. I've already awed a lot, and I've already uh, teared up a few times. So. I'm really enjoying the novella, but I did not enjoy the informational bit, so I'm very excited that we decided just to jump straight to the novella, because that's honestly all I care about. We're not going to act like I look good, okay? I know I don't. I haven't showered yet today, okay? It's Thanksgiving. I played Sims all day and filmed videos for the Raging Gamers. I haven't done anything productive yet. Therefore, I haven't worked out, and then following that line of events, I haven't showered, okay? But I finished this book... Why did I need to read this? Why is this important? It's not important. It's just so stupid. Like, oh my god, oh my god. You read the author's note, ready? An author's note, right before 
This book is called Unlocked because Shannon Messenger says that you unlock a ton of secrets in this book. But can you, like, point them out to me? And then she also says... This note says, and don't worry, this novella may be a little shorter than the Keeper books usually are. And a little? I'm sorry, you are about 500 pages too short to be a Keeper book. But it's packed with huge revelations. What revelations? Because the only thing that happened was the same thing that happened at the end of book four. And it's so stupid. This book is packed with huge revelations. No, it's not. Don't lie to your readers. We spent 17, I spent 17 bucks on this book. Some people bought the Barnes and Nobles edition. If I had bought that, it would have been $31. And I'm so glad I didn't waste my money on that because this book was trash. It was a waste of money. And it wasn't even important. You want to know everything that you need to know in this book? Alright, spoilers. If you don't want to spend your money on this book, trust me, you don't have to. Go to Barnes & Noble, get a copy, and read the novella. Trust me, it'll take you about two hours to read it. It's not that long. But if you don't want to do that, here's everything that's important. Spoiler warning. So, Kiwi wakes up, and he has this new power with emotions. He can control people, and he can also tell if people are, ta if they're talentless, or they have talents, or what their talents are. Uh, Dex's, uh, tr uh, triplet siblings, uh, have powers. Rex is talentless. The girl has, is a phaser, and the other one is, um, a froster like the mom. Um... Sophie burns down a never seen hideout. We don't find out who Glimmer is. Glimmer likes cats, though, apparently. Um, the book ends with Keefe changing Iggy to another color. Oh, yeah, and then Keefe runs away and tells Sophie to never talk to him again. That is literally everything that happens in this novella. And you tell me right now, what was a revelation? Because nothing was a revelation. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It was such a waste of money. Oh my god. I'm so mad. Like, I, I can't even describe how much I hate this book. I despise this book. I despise it so much more than I did last night because I finished the book. You know, at least it never seemed, yeah, it was boring as heck, but at least, uh, stuff was discovered and things happened. Nothing in this book was important. Not a single thing. You could have put this into the first book. And she said she was like, this was originally supposed to be the beginning of book nine, but I wanted, I thought it would be more impactful if you showed it from Keefe's point of view. Um know if that's true because uh nothing happened in this it was such a waste of money this was such a waste of money oh my god oh my god if book nine isn't the end i swear book nine needs to cut it off we need to cut the series off like stop it at book nine because it's ru this it's ruining the series is just whoo going downhill Everything's just getting bigger and bigger and it's just getting more, like, harder to explain. You just keep asking questions and then not answering the questions. My golly, what are you doing, Shannon Messenger? What are you doing? What are you doing? Because it's not writing a book series. Because this is not a book series. I mean, it is, but it doesn't feel like it's not a book. It's just a stupid, it's just stupid words on a page that you charge a more, more money than it was worth, Okay more money than it was worth. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Like, I'm not sad. I'm mad. I am like, I'm so mad because it was such a waste. Like, when you put it out there with everything that happened, you don't realize how little happened until you just put it all out in a line. Like, what, five things happened, uh, and, uh, zero of them were important? Yeah. Like, <sighs> I think Kiwi's like, selfie, don't contact me ever again. Um... I can't, I can't describe how much I hate this book. 
I can't describe how much I hate this book. Like, what do I rate this? I was gonna give it a three, because I thought it was fine. It didn't do much. I didn't, it was just, it, it didn't do much for me, but I was still gonna give it a three. And now that I finished it, I want to give it a stupid one star, because it was so dumb. And I'm so angry. I'm so mad. And I was reading reviews for this, and people were saying how this didn't add anything to the story. It ended the exact same way as, like, Legacy did in Nightfall. No, wait, not Nightfall. Never seen. And, yeah, you're right. It kind of did. And that's what makes me so mad. Like, Keefe just keeps going in circles. Sophie's so stupid. I mean, oh, my God. How oblivious are you, Sophie? Are you just oblivious... She's just oblivious for the fact to be oblivious, but she's so stupid and dumb, and... <sighs> like, Fitz was a good character in this book. I don't think Shannon knows what she's doing. She needs to wrap it up, and I'm just ranting now. I'm so mad. I just, I, I'm going in circles. My God, I'm writing a book. I'm writing this stupid series. I just keep going back to the same thing. This book's so dumb, because that's literally what's happening. It's so stupid, so... <sighs> I hated it. I hated it so much. I didn't know I had this much hatred deep inside of me. I liked Hollow Pox more. And I really didn't like Hollow Pox. But I like Hollow Pox more than that crap right there that I just read. Um. Yeah. No. No. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this reading vlog here. I'm sorry, it wasn't really a reading vlog. Uh, I thought this book would have more to offer than it did. All it gave me was a uh, disappointment, and I'm very mad, and I want to cry because of how much I dislike this book. How do you rate this? What am I going to rate this? I don't even know. I don't know. I, I want to give it one star. I want to give it one star just for how freaking point... I'm giving it a one star. This book was so pointless, I'm giving it a one. I haven't given any books in the series a one, but this book, yeah, I'm saying it. Worse than never seen. This is the worst book in the entire series. It's just so pointless. It's such a waste of money. Oh my god, I hate it. I hate it so much. I didn't know I could have this much hate inside of my body, but I do. I hated this book so much. It was so stupid. And Troy Reads posted a reading vlog on this, and he said we were lucky. All right, I'm gonna finish this off real quickly because I just, I filmed this voiceover three times, and the original video is just, I don't really get my opinions across very well. I'm not sending any hate towards Shannon, and I have to say that because of where we live, you know, you can't say anything. Um, but, I'm not saying hate towards Shannon. Shannon wrote a book and she knew it would make money. And she was right. This book made money. Do I think it was necessary? God, no. I think it was a waste. I really don't think this needed to be written. I don't think anybody really asked for it. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe people were like in our DMs like, hey, hey, please write a guide to the series. I need it. I don't really know. Only Shannon knows, and her publishers, and her editor, and her agent. They're the reasons, they're, her agent most definitely knows why, and her publishers probably do too. But, I'm not sending hate towards her. She did this book again, make money, she wrote it, and made money, and I'm proud for her. You know, write what makes you money, do what makes you money, I don't really care. Um, but, the reason I wanted to mention chores was I just don't think that the sentence of, when you think about it, we're really lucky. I just don't personally think that's a healthy mindset. And I don't really want to go into any more detail on it because I keep going on a rant and I don't really get my opinions across very well. I did write a review on this book and it is a little harsh, but it's also kind of funny and I think it's a really good and well done review because I'm not setting hate towards Shannon. I'm mad at the book, but I'm not mad at Shannon because Shannon wrote what would make her money and hey, all right, what you why would you get paid for? You know what I mean? So there's that. But I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry that I did not like this book. Uh, if you guys have read this book, what are your guys' opinions? Do you think it's just a really good book or is that just your keeper love? 
going on to it. Can you, like, if you look back objectively, what do you think? Do you still think it's a good book, even objectively looking at it? Or do you think it's, yeah, objectively, objectively, it's a bad book? Tell me what you think down below. And, uh, you want to rant with me about this book? Tell me in the comment section. And please go check out my Goodreads review. It's a lot of fun. And again, no hit towards Shannon. Love you all so much. See you guys on next, uh, Monday for another video. Wow, November? I was really good with the videos. All right, bye, everybody. And hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, everyone.